Hello, welcome back to another exciting session. I'm your host Mahesh Karya. You're watching me on YouTube now, and today I'm gonna take you through the Nest API with the Mongoose as a backend, and we are going to use uh, uh, TypeScript for now uh, in this project because Nest JS is built on the top of Express, and now in TypeScript we are going to code. So yeah, without wasting any time, let's deep dive into it. So in terminal, I'm going to use a terminal. Uh, okay if you don't have it already you can grab this from windows store which is uh, i like this a lot so you can switch you can use uh, multiple tab uh, tabs and switch between them so yeah so inside desktop i'm going to create i'm going to install first uh, the nest cli if you haven't already you can grab this from here nestjs slash at nestjs slash cli i already have it actually so after installation you just need to search for the nest hyphen hyphen version or nest hyphen v i guess version and you will get your current nest version over here i already have it so i can uh, install new package from nest uh, the same as angular if you are working on angular you must know this uh, uh, okay so nest new and hit enter it will ask for the project name you can uh, by default uh, it is nest uh, have an app which is okay for me for this tutorial you can choose between the packages uh, like which package manager you prefer to use I always prefer to use yarn or npm but it's fine for this tutorial I'm going to use yarn uh, npm so yarn is built by the Facebook which is faster as they said I'm not sure about uh, okay so yeah so till then we can open Chrome okay so yeah in this tutorial i'm using windows so yeah nestjs.org.com sorry uh you can you can learn the things from here for nestjs so okay there is a nice documentation that they have given so you don't need to uh, look for something that is uh, if you want anything in this just this is almost lots of things are available over here so like open api like swagger implemented that we have implemented in last tutorial with the sqlize so and uh, in this tutorial we are going to use mongoose instead of sqlize so so yeah uh, so we are going to uh, set up the swagger first before proceeding so we don't need to use a postman uh, okay this is uh, ready to use so cd into nest hyphen app and after that inside inside code i'm going to open this okay and in here just you need to simply hit npm npm uh, run start date start dev so that's it and you can use yarn as well yarn start colon dev uh, okay so it will take some time till then we are going to open this thing in another tab as well so we can install packages in this tab and no need to stop server okay so nest happen app okay that's it we need to install few packages like npm install at nestjs slash mongoose mongoose and mongoose uh g w s c that's it i guess uh, okay so you can search for nest mongoose as well so you will get this very first link over here so this is also the best practice otherwise you can remember this thing docs.nestjs.com slash techniques slash mongodb i already uh, i'm using these two things and first we'll set up the uh, okay we'll set up the swagger later so yeah this is taking some time till then i'm going to tell you guys how to use uh, you can install docker on your system you can use uh, anything like uh, i'm going to use our uh, docker for installation of mongodb most likely if you haven't already you can grab this from here okay docker.com or docker desktop you can if you are working on windows you just need to grab this from here if you are on uh, linux or whatever it may be you can grab this from here okay for linux and mac as well so okay i already have docker i just need to uh, 
turn on okay so and I will search for the Dr. Mongo okay and from here we'll grab the image for docker and uh, actually uh, uh modb is already running inside my system so it's all your choice uh, how you use it and apart from that we need few few things like uh, you can you can grab this uh mongodb from here as well okay so this is already running inside my system i don't need to install this uh, but even though for you guys i'm telling you this thing okay so the process is very simple once this is running inside your system you just need to hit docker pull mongo it will grab the latest mongo uh, image from the docker hub and uh, it will take some time till then i'll I'm going to pause this video i guess let's see okay it's skating so i need to pause this video i'll be back so okay this is uh, downloaded so i just need to run this command uh, docker run hyphen have a name of my container and name will be my mongo tv which is name of my container so uh, after that in detach mode i'm going to publish this in port 27017 which is already running so i need to change this port to 27018 i guess okay which is external port for my laptop and uh, this is 27017 which is internal port for uh, container so uh, and the name of your uh, we can say the image this is the thing that we have to run i guess i'm not sure about environment variable for now but we'll see it later if needed we can create this thing okay so i told you guys this will be a very real time video i'm not sure about what i'm going to create but uh, yeah uh docker start now i need to start this container which is my mongo tb i guess so yeah it started now we can see inside docker container ps i guess or ls okay so two things are running my sql which was already running over there 24 hours and this is uh, the mongo latest was just started 21 seconds before so yeah this is the thing uh, we are going to use now we just need to grab this package or uh, this icon you will get once you grab this from play store i'm uh, sorry market store so uh, from here you just need to search for mongo and you will get this mongodb client or something mongodb search for okay this is mongodb for vs code this is very lightweight uh, plugin that you can use okay so I'll, I'll try to connect this thing from here okay so open connect through the string okay mongo db colon colon slash slash on localhost colon 27 Zero one eight, I guess slash stb we are going to use you can name it whatever it may be I hope it will connect let's see connection mongodb be disconnected why I'm not sure okay it's connected no yeah yeah it's connected so mongodb 27018 is connected so yeah uh, now I just need to what i have to do i'm not sure so we'll go to here uh okay i have already grabbed these things i'm not sure if i have already these things or not okay i'll go to here and open this thing inside my ps code once again it's already open i guess okay let's see here okay this is my uh file structure okay now i'm going to look into the packet.json okay once we have this mongoose available inside here i don't have it already i guess so i need to download these things these are dev dependencies these are mongoose okay we have or we already have it so after that the next step is to grab this thing mongoose okay 
just need to inside app module uh, inside app module we are going to use this thing over here control b to close this up and i'm not getting suggestions okay initializing okay and i need to grab this thing grab this thing sorry um okay this is it i guess this is it so this is my localhost colon colon two seven zero one eight slash test okay so this will be my path to MongoDB and after that injection we are going to create a schemas so I'm going to create a folder uh, which is okay which is nest new or nest generate we are going to use and which will be resource and resource name will be users okay so it will create a complete new folder users for me uh, with the, all the endpoints it will ask me for the endpoints or uh, restful endpoints so it will automatically create uh, restful endpoints for me so i don't need to write that much of code so which is uh, which is simple uh, uh, find all find one kind of methods which are ba basic methods now uh, that you will get from here so you just need to do this thing and it will take some time to create a users folder till then uh, okay so it's giving some kind of uh, you can fix it okay if you have this linter already available or prettier it will suggest you okay so this is it for now and control b back to okay i got this users folder which contains a lots of things so first of all we, we are going to uh, delete few things like this is not useful for me i'm going to delete this thing inside users as well we'll get some unwanted things <laughs> not unwanted but for now we are not using it so in entities i don't want entities and details for now i just need controller module and service okay and uh, we okay this is it i guess i don't want these two things can i delete this thing let's try this out okay i, I told you i'm doing this for the very first time yes with mongodb okay so this is my controller okay i just need to tell you this uh what ttos i don't want ttos okay hard shift f to format the page and what is this TTO I don't want this for now and uh, we'll see it later okay so okay here and here as well I don't want this thing here and here okay this is it I guess again if I go to the service layer I'll get the very common things TTOs I don't want it here so now we are going to create a schema so we'll get this thing from the schema so create we'll do this later okay here yeah, so for now i am removing this and i'm going to create a class so for that you just need to create ng new uh ng sorry which is it is uh, very much like angular so ng generate class class name is user i guess so you can do this like this as well otherwise i just need i always prefer to create oh uh, there are lots of cool stuff on uh, like you will get these things as well these are few plugins available on market uh you can grab this thing as well so i just need to create where is and uh, okay the user dot model dot ts okay so uh export class or user okay will contain a constructor i guess for now i'm not sure uh, for now name string email string password or string this is it i shift f control s and go to here and actually we have to grab this thing instead of doing that much of things you can simply grab these things inside here you just need to replace this cat variable cat thing with the user okay and same for the rest of things like user 
here as well user this is the class user and we are going to export this thing as a user so this is my user schema so yeah this is it instead of name age we are going to use email and password which will be type of string as usual so password so this is it i guess or shift f one time to format the page okay okay so yeah this is it for now and once we go for the further things i just need to use oh uh, okay i'm not sure, sure about these things but let it be okay no start schema okay cat start model dot yes i need to grab this thing i guess inside my cats model so i have a user model here okay so i need to grab the whole import statement here okay so instead of cat schema we are going to use a user schema and here also we are going to use a user dot name so once we grab this thing our chip tab and inside entity why we, we are getting this entity i don't want this thing from entity i don't want entity i just need this user so quick fix import user model and quick fix import user model 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 and once you get this thing uh, in services you just need to uh, connect this thing wire up this thing with uh, your model so inside control p you just need to uh, control p and search for user services like this and inside here i just need to uh, create a constructor with the inject model user dot name okay user dot name and model will be my user document so you can do this like this uh, and simply import these things okay here as well import this thing and this one as well uh, okay this is it i guess mongoose and yeah this is it i guess control s and after that we can proceed with the uh, this dot create okay this is it this is it i guess so in service layer in create we just need to call this dot this dot a model which is my user model or uh, where is model model name is cat model which is user model user model dot save is the command i guess to save things okay and in here we'll get a user will be type of user okay and in here we'll pass a user so uh, it will return the user i guess okay so most likely this is not returning the user okay this is it semicolon and that's it so in find all will be the similar will return the okay this dot user model dot find all will return all things all the list of users that okay written this will be a async of it okay return of weight i guess is needed but let's see promise should be there okay so promise will return the type of user okay like this here as well just need to define the promise will be type of array of users over here as well and inside find one it will be a type of i'm not sure but string most likely and which is underscore id i guess 
inside okay quick fix order maybe so inside here in return we'll wait for well this is this is no need to use right here okay so here as well this dot use the model dot find one you can use find one or find by id is also there find by id is the method which is provided by mongoose so here we will simply write the id over here no need to write this thing as and this will return a promise okay what type of user single user not the list this time and in update as well we are going to use a simple find by id and update so this dot user model dot find by id and update i guess so find by id will provide the id and the model user model i guess i'm not sure about this but user will be type of user and yeah this is it in return we are going to return the promise user which is which will be different i guess i'm not sure so updated user we have to return and in here remove will be type of string id we will get id and in here will return the deleted user from the user model okay dot find by id and delete method is there by models so here this is it i guess if this thing is missing promise will return the single user if possible so or id at least which is better for us to know which id we have deleted so this is this is it i guess if i go to my user module now user controller this is user so uh, the one thing is i'm missing i guess okay user schema so let's see what are the mistakes we have made till now user schema means inside user model we are missing something so document from mongoose let's see okay document from mongoose and from nest mongoose we are getting this thing this is user document this is user and this user schema which is good okay and in users model dot ts okay inside users model dot ts we are using a user schema which we have to grab this from here this is it i guess yeah control s and it it's giving another thing which is model is missing inside service so you can directly grab this thing as well like this control c control p control v enter okay and search for the model which is not here so we just need to hover this thing import this thing control s okay so yeah this is perfect so, so this method is not there to find by id find by id and update using user model it's okay let's hold this thing why save is not exist in the type of model user document let's see why this thing is missing here if i go here okay so okay so it's going through the dto i don't want to go through the dto so in user model this is not available which is right which is right because it's just a model okay or user document so let's see the further things dot find so i think this is might be because of this it should be create i guess okay 
and it should be find not find all i guess will return the list of users if i'm right okay archive uh missing the following property is users finally symbol okay let's see find all will be written the list of users which is right okay find by id is also missing no it is not right so yeah we are making mistake i guess the method names are not right the rest of the things is right i guess it's not returning the user object it's returning with something else that we have to print first before doing any mistakes okay so in here i just need to console.log okay and this dot user model dot find okay so, yeah so till then we'll remove these things once we get to know what things we are getting in return so we'll work okay so yeah and the last thing is remaining is id remove id okay so in user service okay in id in controller we are returning id so it should be string like this this is it so now it should work and again find one is also id this one is also id okay okay zero errors for now so uh, one more thing that we have to do to set up the api open api which is a swagger in just introduction you just need to grab these two things uh, okay that's it you know, swagger and swagger ui express this two dependency will help you to set up with this complete swagger documentation uh, once we get these things just you need to grab this thing these three lines of code inside your app module now sorry main.ts uh, okay so once you get this thing in here and you know to need this tags anymore and just hold this thing import this thing and document builder okay that's it i guess from nest swagger and this is it to get started with and the another thing inside your model just need to define these things are required so these are api api property i guess api property these things are api property so swagger will know which attributes that you want to uh, you want which attributes from swagger to get uh, to get or to uh, well doing get or post things so yeah this is it and you can define here the tags as well like api tags is also there like this just you can define like users is my uh that i'm using so this is it for model and this is this is uh, done with the main thing as well and now the few things are remaining if i go here and if i search for the localhost colon 3000 uh, slash api then we'll get this four five things okay if i go here i don't have anything let's execute this thing hello world i got hello world i don't want this hello world so i just need to delete few things uh the app controller i don't want app controller app service as well so you can delete these two things inside app module as well you know, we don't want these things user controller is there
in app model okay I don't want this app controller and app services instead of okay let's try this again okay with zero errors let's refresh this page and let's uh, get the data first and we'll get the empty data which is okay for me and once i go here to post something I, i'll get nothing because i'm doing uh, something okay it's it is just i'll just uh, post some data but i haven't i don't know what the parameters should i uh, use here because inside service layer i guess let's go with the controller first so if i'm doing the post thing it should know what the data i want to post so you just need to define user here okay just import user and inside a patch i don't know patch patch okay to update the data as well i need to define i have to pass user here okay and the one more thing if you are if you are passing the id you need to define the at api params okay so inside api param you just need to define the name which name of your parameter which will be a params for me okay it should be id i guess not params okay this is the id and in here we'll get the params okay and which can be anything and in here as well now uh, we'll get params of type string and in here we'll return params dot id i should did you mean params yeah this is it i guess let's try this again don't need to define this thing if i consult log this thing here and get to know what we are getting inside the id i guess we are getting the object inside id that's why okay user entity why this is getting the user entity and this is not from user entity this is from the model so i just need to define one more time this is my model not user entity that i have deleted before the starting of okay so once again i am refreshing this page i am going to uh, use this method this one delete method is there so in delete method i am going to pass id whatever it may be and we will get to know inside uh, console that 2233 okay we are getting something inside id okay fail to read the value it's fine it's fine so but if i refresh the page and i try this again the post method i got this object so now this thing knows what should i post so i just need to define something here like mahesh okay mahesh at gmail.com and this which is not my official id and mahesh at 123 which is not my official password as well okay once i get this thing so yeah it's just created and if i go here inside my db as well so i'll get to know what the db just have uh let's try this again okay this test is there users is there two documents are there first one is this one another one is this one that i've just now posted okay now if i go to the users tab uh, i'll get the list of users these two things now i want to delete this thing and we'll try to pass this thing over here inside id and we'll uh, get to know it's working fine or not so yeah it's working i guess we are getting the result back so if i go again inside uh, here i'll get the single entry and if i uh, want to get a single user instead of the list of users i'll just simply 
get this single user over here get by id method and if i go here inside patch method if i want to update now try this out post here if i want to update something my issue with this thing string so yeah it will just update my data i guess so i'm getting error let's see what the mistakes we have made inside here the model user okay it's fine uh type number or uh, something is we are missing somewhere so let's try this again so inside here patch i have id of type string and this thing was a mistake so now it will work i guess and yeah this is id which is type of string is not okay this somewhere inside update we are using number i guess okay in here so you need to change this to string after that it should work okay let's try this again and this time we got zero errors and if i try this again we'll get a return user the previous state of user and if i go here and if i try this again so i'll get the new state of the user so this is working fine and again if i grab this id and if i now try to delete this thing that we have done this already so we'll delete the user and we'll return the previous user as well so let's try this again inside users we'll get the empty array so thank you very much all of you guys uh, for being with me supporting me all the time it's been a pleasure to be here and let me know inside comment box if you like this video please uh, consider to subscribe and uh, let me know what you want from my side i'll i'll try to make better videos i'll try to make uh, all the videos that uh, that is that you will ask me for to do so thank you very much bye bye